If the reason as to why you want to study in South Korea is to obtain a permanent resident or a South Korean citizenship, here are five university institutes in South Korea that may make it easy for you to obtain a permanent resident or a South Korean citizenship. Remember, I said maybe this is because there are conditions that must be fulfilled for that to happen. There are always conditions. Details ahead. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Daddy Cliff channel. So, as of the start of the year 2023, the South Korean Ministry of Justice indicated that they are going to fast track the process for people to obtain an F2, which is a professional visa, to an F5, which is a permanent visa, and then probably move to the next one, which will be citizenship. But you must obtain an advanced degree, that is a master or a PhD in South Korea from one of the five university institutes that are in South Korea. This is because they've noticed that immediately foreign students graduate from most universities in South Korea, they leave the country to where they would have better opportunities. So for them to keep the foreign students, they've come up with an opportunity for you to have a permanent resident or a Korean citizenship, but you must graduate from one of the five university institutes in South Korea. The first one is Christ which is Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology. It is in Daejeon. The second one is UST, that is University of Science and Technology. That one is equally in Daejeon. And then there is GIST, which is Gwangju Institute of Science and Technology. That one is in Gwangju. And then there is UNIST, that is Ulsan National Institute of Science and Technology. And then there is DGIST, which is Daegu Gyeongbuk Institute of Science and Technology. If you can obtain a master or a PhD from one of those universities, you would probably move towards a permanent resident. But one of the conditions that you must fulfill is that you must get a letter of recommendation from the dean of your school. So let's say you graduated from KAIST, that's Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology. You must make sure you obtain a letter of recommendation from your dean of KAIST. Then they would put you towards the path to get an F2 visa. It will not matter if you have a job or not because it is important for me to state that before this process was there, but it could only happen if you had a job because an F2 visa is a professional visa and then it will take you six years for you to transition from an F2 to an F5 visa, which is a permanent visa. So that process was there, but it was a trial process. They've decided to bring it down to three years. It doesn't matter if you have a job. If you graduate from one of those university institutes, get a letter of recommendation from your dean, and then they would give you an F2 visa. And then you can now start thinking about getting a job or maybe creating a startup and stuff like that that will generate revenue. They don't want those talents that have studied in South Korea to travel out. And then, like I said in one of my videos, if you've not yet watched that video, reasons as to why you should not go in South Korea. The thing is that before students will graduate from universities, institutes like this one, or any other big university like Seoul National University, Korea National University, Yonsei, with maybe a degree in computer science, and then they would probably not succeed in getting a job in their major they'll probably get a job in something like translation because they have been in korea they've studied korean language to the point of almost a native speaker which means they can speak korean language as good as a korean person and then there's a company that wants to employ them as a translator to probably translate from english to korean they would offer them an employment letter when they offer you an employment letter you need to go to the immigration to change it to the appropriate work visa. Getting at the immigration, the immigration might start asking, is there no Korean to do this job? It's normal. Korea is for Koreans. They have to prioritize Koreans, make sure Koreans have a job. But what if the company has been struggling to get somebody who is a Korean and they've not been able to get that person to fill up that space? So there is this problem in Korea where the immigration wants you to get a job only in your area of study. They want you to have a job that aligns with your major. So for example, if you did computer science, you should obtain a job in the field of computer science. 
if you studied economics you should have a job somewhere around something that has to do with economics do not go with an employment letter to the immigration that says that they want to employ you to maybe become a translator or maybe become something in a field that is not related to your major so you have that frustrations that foreign students usually have and then they leave the country to other parts of the world for better opportunities. So the Ministry of Justice is trying to avoid that situation where students usually leave immediately after graduation, especially if you're coming from one of the five universities. But the problem is, why are they limiting it only to those five university institutes? Because you have students who equally graduate from other good universities in South Korea and they pick up jobs almost everywhere, but they cannot change their visa to a job visa. So there is that problem in Korea where they want you to only get a job in your area of study. So let's even say you went and studied MBA and then you ended up getting a job as maybe, I don't know, if the job has nothing to do with business, know that it might be difficult for you to get that job in Korea. The second condition is that it must be an advanced degree, that is a master or a PhD, and it must be in the sciences and technology. I repeat, science and technology. So there is nothing like art humanities. If you're going to study in one of the five university institutes, it should be in the science and technology fields. Any majors that are in the sciences and technological fields, then you will be guaranteed to move towards a permanent F2 visa after obtaining a letter of recommendation from your dean, which means you must keep a good relationship with your professors and if possible with your dean your professor that is your supervisor might recommend you to the dean might recommend that the dean should offer you a letter of recommendation once your professor is able to mediate between you and the dean and the good thing about south korea is that getting to know the deans in every university is very possible they are people that you see so do not worry you might see your dean you might be able to create a good relationship with your dean and if your dean has a positive view about you then you would probably get a letter of recommendation after graduating from one of the five university institutes in south korea so those are the two conditions you must come from one of the five university institute and secondly you must obtain a letter of recommendation from your dean of your university institute or your graduate school and then thirdly it must be in the science and technological fields that being said guys i don't want to make this video very long if you know you've not yet subscribed to the channel hit that subscribe button and then make sure you like the video if you feel like the content was okay and then i'll see you in the next one Bye bye